What's happening guys? My name is Steve and this is Tech Pulse. In this video we're going to be looking at Facebook Live reactions. So what this is, is basically when you see people voting on Facebook Live videos where you use the emotions at the bottom of the uh, like button in order to cast a vote basically. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how we can do that and it's fairly easy. So uh, let's crack on. Okay, so the first thing that you guys will need to do is download OBS Studio and get that installed. Um, once you've installed it, make sure you install it with the Browser Source plugin uh, and then we can carry on. So in, my, in the description I'm going to have all of the links that are required for doing this. And the first thing that we need to do now is to just download a zip file from my GitHub which is also linked in the description and then copy that onto your desktop or into a place where you want to keep these files permanently because you will be using these all the time. Um, once you've done that, you need to go to developers.facebook.com. Uh, I'm already there. And what you want to do when you get there is click, there'll be a blue button here that says create an app. Or if you've already got apps, if you click add a new app there, um, create the app, give it whatever name you want. Um, select a category. The reason I've not done it is because it asks for your email address and obviously you'd be able to see that there. Then you go into the app and click Tools and Support. And then once you're in Tools and Support you should see Access Tool Token and then you just want to copy that long number there into Notepad or something like this paste that into there. Then we need to go into the folder that we downloaded from GitHub and edit the index.html file. And if you scroll down, you'll see an area here where it says access token here. What you want to do is just paste the long token that you just copied from Facebook into there and then save this page. Now that we've saved that page, you want to open OBS, create a scene called Live Reactions, and then you want to choose browser a uh, browser source uh, in there and click OK. So you'll get the following page. You need to click Local File so that you can direct it to the files on our desktop. And just quickly select those. Then we want to change the width to 1920, the height to 1080. That so that it's uh, HD and click OK. And now you can see uh, our template has been loaded up. So you'll probably notice that by default it says what do you want for your birthday and then there's a few options of different things that you can have um, you can change these to be whatever you like and you can also change the background image so to change the background image it's pretty simple you just replace the background file here with another background png file and that'll change it if you want to ask a different question you just change here to what do you want for Christmas? Uh, and then your answers, basically, you just change uh, here. You just need to change the label. Uh, if you don't want all of the emojis, then you basically just delete the ones that you don't want, keep the ones that you do want, uh, and then just change the labels to suit whatever it is that you require. So I'm going to leave this the same. One thing to note, if you do change uh, anything in this index file after you've created your browser source, you just need to go into the properties and click OK, and that'll just refresh it, and you can see it says what you want for Christmas. And now what we will want to do is go to settings, go to stream, change the drop down to be Facebook Live, and then what we'll do is we'll get our stream key up and running. So what we do for that is go to Facebook and go to the Facebook page that you guys want to display this video on. 
and then you just go to publishing tools video library and then click live so this will load up a screen with some stream urls you don't need any of those and um, the only thing that you do need is the stream key from down here the stream key is unique so every single time that you create a new uh, a new stream you need to go into here and copy this and put it back into obs again so we'll do that now click ok go back to facebook and click next so now we can type in the title for our video just call this one test stream and you can see it shows that currently it's offline so in order to change that and to make it go online all we need to do is click start streaming within OBS now if you've got anything wrong OBS will put a little message down at the bottom here telling you what's wrong and how to resolve it you'll also if you start seeing dropped frames that means there's an issue so if we go back to Facebook can now see a preview of what our viewers will see when this page goes live so now what we want to do is click go live uh, once you click go live um, your video will soon go live once it does you need to be quite quick and click view permalink when you click view permalink it'll open up in a different window and we need to copy an id off of there and that will be what registers our reactions Okay, so you can see here, view permalink, click on that. And then we want to copy this uh, number that's at the end here. Go back into our index.html. And then where it says post ID here, we just want to paste into there. And save the page again. Then go back into OBS. Double click on browser source. Click OK. And what that'll do, it'll go black for a second, but now you'll notice that you've got zeros next to all of the smiley faces and things like that. So now, if I go on to here and I say that for Christmas, I would like some money. So I'm going to choose the laughing face. And this does take a little while because there are delays between it. Typical. So anyway, as you can see, the stream stopped working, but that's the, uh, that, that is basically how this works. Um, so what will happen is if this was working, it would just pop up there with the number one. As you can see here, this is basically what you would see on Facebook um, when it's working. And I think the reason it's working is that um, it can't encode it fast enough. So that's fine. So what I'm going to do is just stop that stream now. And then we just click end live video on Facebook. And there we go. That's our test stream done. So now you know how to do the live reactions. If you check out the description below, you'll have all of the links that you need. If there's any questions that you've got, please just let me know. So if this video has helped you out, please hit that like button. And also, if you subscribe, you'll get to see all of my latest videos and things like that that are coming through to tech.